Hello and welcome back to my channel, Rare Eddie One. I'm your host, Rare Eddie One, and welcome. I hope you're having a, a fantastic and wonderful time. We're getting straight into this review. It's a, it's a re my review of Oppenheimer. This film was fantastic, and I will. It's my non-spoiler review, and I give it a nine point five. Now, is that the highest I've given a film this year? I think so. This film was fantastic. So let's get into it let's have a look at some numbers and some reviews well maybe not reviews but have a have a discussion have a little chat about um what's going on with um Oppenheimer. so let's have a look here we are we are at the numbers i like to start off at the numbers because well let's see what it's doing uh financially so we can see their worldwide box office 400 just over 400 million. Now, this is its second weekend. I saw it last night. So, I've had a, a night and a day to think about it, to think about this video. Um, I have I have never seen my cinema as packed as I saw it last night. Now, I don't know if Barbie is even more packed, even more fuller. Um, I will never know because I don't think I'll ever see that film. At the cinema, anyway, I may watch it um, on the streaming services because, let's face it, them streaming services are full of patriarchy, full of evil patriarchy. Um, but anyway, Oppenheimer with more evil patriarchy and communists. God, if uh, if we were to do a shot every time we heard the word communist, I think we'd all be dead. Um, but domestically. Just under 175, just under, well, I said just, uh, but it's under 175 million domestically. That is for second weekend. This is a Sunday I'm filming this, so maybe you haven't got this weekend numbers out yet, or maybe, you know, I'd, I'd, I'm not too sure how the numbers still work, uh, in all honesty. Um, international box office, just over 225 million in a total of 400 Production budget, a hundred million. Now this film looks like it should have cost more, but I guess when you throw out all that green screen and you know CGI and just go pretty much practical, it's well. If you've seen this film, you will not be dis if you haven't seen this film, you will not be disappointed. Now it is a long film. It is a long film, and I I hear people say that the 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 score is a bit off putting, but I I I love the way he does the sound. I I love the way he does the sound. It it just emphasizes how you know his world is so. Um, he he feels he sees more than the average person. I don't know if that's the right thing to say, um, but that's just how I felt of it. Um, and it was just fantastic, absolute fantastic, visually stunning, visually stunning. So you got the the contrast between color and black and white. So the color is from uh, Oppenheimer's um, uh, perspective, and the the black and white is Strauss's basically Strauss other not Oppenheimer's um, perspective, other other sources basically, and that was just fantastic. Now. There is a sex, there is sex and nudity, nudity in this, and it was like, was that really needed? I, I, I think yes, yes, I, I think it was because the sex scene, the the, the couple of sex scenes, um, showed a side of Oppheimer that could you only see the sex scene with his first communist love and I how I took it is that that was his first his his special love yes he he, he gets married as, and he's in love with um I can't Emily Blunt's um character I can't quite remember her fucking name now um but that because there's a couple of scenes I don't know whether to I don't think they're t too spoilery. Um, so you you see 
it's a basic I I I take it as it's it's a simple you know it's him being simple, him in love with a woman. It's simple. Yeah, a cup one of them is reading Sanskrit and that just sounds fucking a hundred times smarter than what I'll ever be, but that's his being that's him being that's Oppenheimer being simple. That's Oppenheimer opening up. And um you see him when you, you see him actually break down because you know, I won't but you see him break down because of this woman. Um his first I I can't I don't think it's his first love, but his first l- proper love. And his real love and it's it, Yes, he loves uh, Emily Blunt's character, but he's in love with this woman more now. This is what I I took from it, and this because you see them having there's a sex scene where they they're having a sex scene in in like the uh, court. It's not a courtroom, but that's the hearing, and the sex scene is from Emily. Emily Blunt's uh, point of view, and you can see her getting jealous, you know, angry, and you know, and I think that was needed because you 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 could see her getting so angry at it and so upset with him. So yeah, I I I think it was needed. Um, you know, Florence Pugh is a beautiful woman, um, and I I think. You know, just to tell the story that he was in love with, he was a womanizer, but them two women were his ultimate, and one was just a little bit more than the other, unfortunately. So, so that's my thought on 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 that. I hope it's not spoiled it for for any of you guys out there. Uh, I do. Um, so this, I thought this was quite interesting. This was this was from a few days ago. Uh, Nolan's film, film Oppenheimer is box office success earning 12.6 million domestically and surpassing 95. Well, we see we see that it's fucking really smashed it. Um and it's slightly uh, crossing 108 it's it's fucking really smashed it. It's smashed it. No, it's not doing what Barbie's fucking doing, and it never would have done what Barbie's doing because this is a totally, totally different film. Again, it's not, in my opinion, it's not Nolan's. It's not, in my opinion, Nolan has directed better films. Uh, Interstellar being probably my favourite, but this is up there, definitely up there. It's probably my top three of Nolan films. At eight point seven, my pop, maybe in my top two. This and in a style, just because of the Manhattan Project and how much I love the man. I won't say love, but how much I love that. That uh, I guess it's not a conspiracy anymore, but the uh, project uh, Manhattan Project. So IMDb, it's got an eight point seven. Um, it's it's fantastic. So, Killian Murphy, fuck it, all of them. Bloody hell, Scott Grimes, is it? Holy, I didn't even. There's so many people in this that I'm I fucking taken aback. How many fucking huge stars are actually in this? Yes, Robert Downey Jr. stole the show, but he's in a film where everyone fucking steals a show. I couldn't put anyone... I say that, actually, the guy who I actually fucking probably thought... He's up there with Robert Downey Jr. for stealing the show. Um, Where is he? Josh Hartnett. I can't see him there. Am I missing it? Josh Hartnett steals a show for me. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't see him. Let's go. No, I don't want. Oh, uh, Josh Hartnett. As uh, yeah, Josh Hartnett fucking steals a show for me. He's not in it as as much as you know some of these guys. Emily Blunt's fantastic in it. 
Florence Pugh is fucking fantastic. Matt Damon is... I was talking about in my last... One of one of my last um, uh, film reviews, and I was saying like Tom Cruise is is like could he be quite possibly one of the last A lister um, act- actors out there? I could quite possibly say the same about Matt Damon. This guy is is on another level for me. Matt Damon, I fucking love that guy. Um. Quite a, quite a lot of these in here are absolutely fantastic. Like I say, Downey. I think the majority of people are saying Downey steals the show, and I I generally agree with him. But Josh Hart, Josh Hartnett for me because I think he's such a wonderful actor, great presence. He, he's just just fantastic. Yeah. Um, um, actor, um, Rotten Tomatoes. So it's got a ninety-four and a ninety-two. Let's have a quick look. All audience ninety, and top critics ninety-five. Fucking hell, ninety-five. Is so. Do you? So there's a lot of people saying out there that the sound is the score is quite off putting and the black and white uh, con- uh to to color contrast is not off putting but maybe get a bit um muddled up that's the way no one likes to tell his films um i love that actually so the color is from oppenheimer's you know, like, like i previously said um and the sound you can't quite you need the sound for to help with the visual of um, Oppenheimer, lo- not losing it, but he knows there's something, there's maybe another dimension out there. He, he's and that portrays that so beautifully and um, fantastically. It's brilliant, absolute brilliant. Um, I would quite possibly put it quite near to the black hole scene in uh, Interstellar, which <laughs> that's for another another video. Um, but yeah, so the story of Oppenheimer is fantastic. I didn't want to do my, uh, any sort of spoilers yet. I, I've slightly spoiled it with the couple of sex scenes. Oh no! It's a true story. It's based on a true story. It's um, it's a biopic. Um, so yeah, the spoilers shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, it's it's one of them. It's could I've, I I have heard a lot of people from who I respect and and love and listen to all the time that. The first half of the film maybe didn't need it. Didn't the first half of the film may maybe didn't need to be in. Um I I I disagree. I think the first half I think three hours was I could have maybe done with a you know, a couple more hours because just it was just so fun uh, fascinating from start to finish and uh I, I just fucking loved it. I'm glad I wasn't tired when I watched this because I could see myself falling asleep, not because of the, of the film itself, but just because my general uh, fatigue um, would have... Because I've been falling asleep during quite a lot of films, not because of... Well, most of the time it's because of a quality of the film um, or TV show like... Um, uh, Secret Invasion, <laughs> but um, I, I think I fell asleep sort of to uh, Fallout the other the other night, and that was just that's a great film, Mission Impossible Fallout. So yeah, I I think this was a, a fantastic, wonderful film, brilliant. So glad I watched it at the cinema. So glad I watched it at a packed cinema. It's one of them. 
leaving the cinema, you, you see people contemplating the film, talking about the film. Me and my friends were talking and contemplating about the film. We were, you know, I I honestly thought um, Albert Einstein had more to do with the Manhattan Project, but I guess he he doesn't. Sorry, I, I, that's not a big spoiler. Um, oh, this this film was fantastic, and I'm not so. It doesn't surprise me why this film is doing so fucking well. Four hundred million. I can't wait to see what this. I can't wait to see the end of the uh, of its uh, life at the cinema, um, what this film will actually make. I hope it hits a billion, but I don't think it will, just because it's narrated and it's a long film. I, I would love it to hit a billion, but again, I don't think it will. I hope you've enjoyed this, my uh, little non-spoiler re- review of Oppenheimer. Um, I know with my short tongue, I don't really say it as, as uh, proper, properly <laughs> um, with my short tongue and uh, my dyslexia uh, <laughs> I may have picked the wrong hobby but I love this hobby uh, so anyway if you if you haven't if you don't agree with me um, pick it up with Big Rare anyone I, I'm trying a new way of filming so I hope it's not too off putting at the minute but I hope I can up um um video uh quality and, and, and that stuff and sound and, and and be more be more on it. Um so anyway let's less me ranting let's go back to Big Radio One I will see you on the flip side. So what are your thoughts on Oppenheimer? Is it did you enjoy it? Did, have you seen it? Are you going to watch it? Are you going to watch it at the cinema or are you going to wait until it comes out on the streaming services? If so, why? I 100% recommend going to the cinema to watch this film. It was fantastic. Um, absolute fantastic. Brilliant film. It's a, probably one of the best films I have seen this year and I've said that a few times now. Um, but I think it's the highest I've rated a film, a 9.5. Um, you have to let me know if I've you know, I may have rated Mario maybe about the same, but this this picture was fucking fantastic. I thought I knew the story uh, of uh, the Manhattan, Manhattan Project, but I guess I didn't, you know, because so much of his story, I guess I, I mainly go through the... Um, the nuclear part of it and not not the background not the um the uh senate hearings and all that sort of stuff i just know the science and you know the the conspiracy of it all um because back then it was a conspiracy and was he a, a communist and you know all, all that fantastic fantastic absolute fantastic now i probably will do another video on this with some spoilers, um, my thoughts on some of the scenes. I, I maybe when I get to see this film um, again on a streaming platform, I don't think I go and see it again at the cinema. But I, I thought it was fantastic. I put it up there with Interstellar for, from Christopher Nolan, and I fucking love Interstellar. That's close to a ten as I will ever give a film. Um, no, it's not it's not perfect but the imagination of that film would just blew me away blew me away and uh but this is a biopic and everything you know from from love to teaching to historical events and you know characters and meeting the the character real characters you know einstein and um the generals and you know president and and you know it absolutely blew me away and the stars in this film are just it just yes robert downey jr stole the show but he stole the show where everyone was stealing the show i don't think anyone really give a poor performance fucking actually thinking about that no Josh Hartnett stole the show for me. I I love Josh Hartnett from the first time I've ever seen the film. 
and he's just you know it's gone downhill for him um but this you know i've I seen him in op, um operation fortune and this and is is maybe a reinsurgence of him i hope so because i think he's a fantastic actor fantastic it's great on screen uh presence um it i think he's a fantastic actor anyway um let me know your thoughts on Oppenheimer. Let me know your thoughts. If you, you're going to watch it, you're going to see it. Um, let me know your thoughts. If you want me to do a, my conspiracy, I don't know why I did that, my uh, conspiracy episode on the pro, uh, Manhattan Project, because that is a fantastic story in itself. Yeah, yes, this film shows everything from, from his love life to... Yeah, you know, the uh, Communist Party, and you know how he got how he got to Los Al- Alamos, and uh, and so much more. But there is so much more to this story. It is fantastic. I may look at doing that for a conspiracy episode. So stay tuned for that. But there's a my next my conspiracy episode will be coming soon. Um, aliens. Um, are we? Are, are we? Ah, I'm fucking I'm caught in a loop then. Uh us UFO alien nerds. Are we about to say told you so? And it's we're getting close. I think we're getting close, but that's for another video. Uh so I've been Rare Eddie One. If you want to get in contact with me, all my links are in the description. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and up the the editing and uh, production value of these videos i'm going to try and up um so stay tuned for that as well uh stay tuned for more pop culture and me conspiracy episodes and quite possibly a podcast in the works i fucking this my little hobby i fucking love doing this at the minute and it's taking so much time <laughs> uh, but it's yeah, you know, finding new editing tricks and tips, and yeah, you know, it, it, I'm just fucking loving it at the minute. I'm loving it. I'm loving life at the minute, and uh, it's putting a smile on my face, and that's all that matters. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please, please give me a like. Please comment as well, because that helps. And uh, please share this video if you want to. You know, you don't have to. <laughs> if you haven't liked this video, I thank you anyway for giving me a view. And, uh, you know, thank you. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been Rarity One. I will see you in my next video. Peace.